Okay, today we are gonna talk about jerk baits for smallmouth. Now, the difference between how I fish a jerk bait for smallmouth and largemouth is they're actually completely different in my opinion. Um, smallmouth are a lot more finicky and fickle when it comes to a, a jerk bait. That's an excellent uh, way to catch smallmouth but they're, they're very fickle. So there's a couple things that I do to a jerk bait uh, that helps me catch more smallmouth than um, the average guy. So let me go through what I'm doing, what, I'm, what I generally do. So here's a Spro Mix stick. It, this could be a, uh, a um, Mega Bass Vision 110. This could be a Jackal Rearrange, any of those jerk baits. Straight out of the package, this is a brand new jerk bait, I'm taking it out of the package. Jerk bait out of the package. The very first thing I'm gonna do is take the split ring off the nose. The reason I do this is I always run a jerk bait on a um, on a, a snap, which gives me that freedom that this split ring would if you were to tie it directly. So I always run on a, a snap. So I'm gonna pull that split ring off. The second thing I'm going to do that's going to help me out a lot is I'm going to get a feathered treble. For smallmouth, I don't fish a jerk bait without a feathered treble. So I'm going to get in my, in my handy little treble hook box here. I'm going to pick out a number six size treble, feathered treble. And I'm going to replace that rear hook. with a good quality feathered treble. As you, can, as you can hear probably in the trees, it is very windy today. We've been uh, fighting it all day, trying to get some footage done. And we're on a small reservoir slash river And we are, earlier today, we were up two, uh, two uh, dams and the water was flowing down hard, dirty, and we're, we're two bodies of water below that now and the water, they're repairing the dam so the water's low and clear. So up there we were throwing more like a swing head and, and hard, or you know, bottom hugging baits. Now because the water's low and clear, we're actually gonna start throwing a jerk bait here. So, once I got the feather treble on the back of that, another trick that I use is a just a sharp, regular Sharpie marker in yellow. This is the Spro, Bru, Spro Blue color jerk bait. 
if you're throwing mega bass it's pearl blue you know a lot of companies make this uh, jackals making one in this same color it's basically a clear white here but what i'm going to do to accent this feathered treble for the smallmouth is right here on the tail of the bait i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to color in the tail of the bait all the way around just that back in what it's going to do is give this a little more chartreuse flash on this blue bait and smallmouth just absolutely cannot resist chartreuse in cold water we're in about 50 degree water right now all the way down into the 40s i always do this give the tail of that bait up on that white a little bit of chartreuse chartreuse feathered treble then i'm going to go ahead and take this bait i always use a clip to attach a snap and i'm going to attach that bait with a snap now, this is something that i a lot a lot of times with um large mouth straight out of the pack absolutely fine there's a lot of times smallmouth just absolutely refuse to bite anything so you got to kind of add some little different to your bait something a little different to your bait to make that smallmouth react sometimes um you know a, a harder flashing bait a harder rolling bait tends to be a lot better for smallmouth something you know not quite as subtle where i think large mouth they just you know if you get it across in front of them it's you know laid out on the buffet table they're gonna eat it so that's my uh tips for a jerk bait